Hey guys, welcome back. I'm back with another makeup tutorial as promised last week. Today I wanted to play with peach shades. I wanted to create a very fresh and summery makeup tutorial. This was actually requested in my last video comment section and I was like, yes, summer, fresh, that all sounds like me. Before we get started, if you're new, I'm Sona, founder of Persona Cosmetics and also a beauty and lifestyle creator. And speaking of Persona Cosmetics, I wanna introduce you guys to our latest product. I'm so excited because it is launching today. So introducing the Power Brush. It's a custom made dual ended brush, which you can use for so many different things. It's definitely a multitasking product and it's vegan cruelty free. One side of the brush says blush and this is the larger side and this is where you can use liquids like foundation. You can use this for contouring. You can use this for blush, of course. Um, you really can use this for a lot of different things like setting your entire face. And then the highlight side is probably Probably my favorite side just because it is so precise and small enough to get under the eyes so you can really blend out your concealer you can set your under eyes with powder you can pinpoint conceal you can carve out the cheeks like you really can do so much with this side um, you can even put one eyeshadow all over and run out the door so it's really great in that sense it's super compact I'm gonna compare it to a brush right now so you guys can see this is a Smith brush. And compared together, obviously you can see how compact it is, but in terms of the bristles go, they're not that small. So I just wanted to make sure that like all of our other products, it was really compact. I know that we can't travel as much these days, but even if you're just running errands or like getting out of the house and you wanna throw something in your bag for touch-ups, I wanted to make sure that this would fit in like the smallest bag. So I especially love the color. I think it's just so pretty in my vanity and I hope you guys are just as excited. This is launching today, like I said. It is $24 and available on personacosmetics.co. I'll have links, information, all of that fun stuff for you guys down in the description box. So without further ado, let's get started with this tutorial. I was disinfecting my brushes in this little thing, which is so cool. I actually haven't washed them since I got them. So I'm gonna start with my primer and obviously I'm gonna try to use a brush as much as I can so you guys can see the versatility, which is one of my favorite parts about the brush. First, I'm gonna go in with my Dr. Brand Pores No More. And this is obviously a great one for like larger pores and things. And so I always put that around this area. So I'm using the highlighter side of the brush and really buffing this in. This is also great for like acne scars or any texture. So I also kind of run it around that area. Now I'm gonna switch to more of a hydrating primer and this is one of my favorites. You guys know that I've been using it for years. This is the Too Faced Hangover. So with the hydrating primer, I'm just gonna focus on areas where I kind of like a little bit of dewiness. So not where I typically shine, not the T-zone, but just like the high points of the cheeks and you know, center of the face and above the eyes. See, it just creates a nice dewy effect. Moving on to my foundation, I'm gonna mix these two together. This is the Dior Skin Glow in the shade 3WO and then my Luminous Silk in 6.5, which I think that I mix a little bit of three in here, which is why it's a little light. So I'm just gonna mix these two together. Now I'm gonna use the blush side of the brush and then start to apply this. So the reason why I like to use this brush for foundation is because as you can see, it's very fluffy. So instead of like a kabuki brush that will give you more of an intense coverage, more of like a medium to full coverage, this will give you more of a light coverage. And then you can obviously build it up to a full coverage if you want. And then switch to the highlighter side and like pinpoint conceal. So this is really why I wanted to make sure that this brush was multitasking, that you can use it for both powders, creams, liquids. Um, and with liquids, my favorite part is that it's just so much faster. So I've been breaking out like crazy because we usually order Amazon Fresh. And one day we accidentally got, I think somebody else's order. And that bag had Jack cheese. And I usually don't eat cheese, I don't eat dairy, but this was so tempting. So I had some with my eggs and I felt like I just was addicted to it all of a sudden. And I wanted it every morning. Yeah, I've been eating cheese and breaking out like crazy. So now I'm gonna go ahead and pinpoint conceal some of those bad boys. And then I'm also gonna apply my concealer under my eyes. And this is the NARS Radiant Creamy in Custard. I'm gonna switch to the highlighter side and just blend these in. And then I'm just gonna use the highlighter side to really buff this in. 
under my eyes and a little bit over. It's just so much faster. I have been obsessed with, I think my favorite part is my concealer and setting my under eyes just because again, the size of the brush is just like perfect to get under the eye area. So now I'm gonna set everything in place and I'm gonna use the highlighter side of course. So I'm just gonna grab my translucent powder and then just press the powder underneath my eyes. And I always set around the larger pores, but I, I don't like setting my entire face because especially if we're going for like a summer fresh kind of look, I want a little bit of dewiness everywhere else, but the larger pores gotta go. On to highlighting and contouring. So I'm gonna use my Fenty Beauty bronzer and highlighter. I'm just gonna directly apply this on my skin and I'm gonna use the highlighter side to start carving this out and just blending it in. So once you get that line, I'm gonna switch to the powder side and just make sure that it's really blended. That is looking very, very natural and skin-like, so I'm gonna move on. I'm also gonna contour my jawline and my nose and a little bit on the forehead. So with my jawline, I like to use the larger side, the blush side, because it's just so much quicker. And it also just blends everything super seamlessly. For the nose, of course, I'm gonna use the smaller side of the brush, the highlighter side and then just run the blush side kind of over that. I'm gonna use the Fenty Beauty Pearl Highlighter on the high points of my cheeks. This has a very natural kind of like wax-like finish, if that makes sense. It just looks very, very skin-like. A little bit on the nose. Lastly on the skin, I'm gonna use my blush, of course. This is the Persona Cosmetics in Georgia, and I'm just gonna get a generous amount. I always like to smile and then place the blush on the apples of my cheeks and kind of tap it. Sorry if I go overboard. Then a little bit on the nose. So now that it's on, I'm just gonna make sure that it's nice and blended. I just, do you see how bendable and blendable it is? Like, look at that. And if you place the product on the apples of your cheeks, it just kind of stays there, so it's not big where it's gonna get all over. I can't stand really, really big blush brushes, and so I wanted to make sure that it was small, but also very flexible, so you can apply and blend at the same time. We're gonna move on to the brows, because these brows always need some loving. I'm gonna use my Hourglass Pencil in Soft Brunette. I'm gonna use my Patrick Ta Brow Soap to top it off. Okay, moving on to my eyes, I'll be using this palette by Charlotte Tilbury. I haven't used this yet, so it's brand new and it looks so beautiful. These don't have exact shade names, so I'll just show you guys on camera, but basically I'm using the darkest shade from Desk. I'm gonna set my eyes one more time since they are creasing already. I'm gonna apply this color on my crease and I'm just using a fluffy brush to apply and blend at the same time. Always feather out towards your brow for more of a youthful look. I'm gonna mix a little bit of that pe peachy pinky shade right next to it, and I'm gonna apply that all over the eyes. By the way, the brush that I'm using is by Zoeva, number 228. I'm gonna switch to a Persona brush because I wanna use the tip of it. I'm using the same two colors, and this time I've just mix it together and I'm just kind of applying this on my bottom lash line, not in any precise way. I'm kind of just blending this in. So I'm gonna tight line, but if you have small eyes, I would skip this step. Uh, I'm gonna use a plum liner so that it's not super harsh. If you use brown or black, it'll just be a lot more intense. So I'm using the Persona Cosmetics liner in plum and I'm just gonna tight line on the top lash line. Oops. and then just very lightly on the bottom. It's almost like transparent, so it looks very natural. This is the liner that comes with the Color Theory Pink Kit, but we also sell this individually. I got these Make a Forever eyeshadows in the mail today, actually, and I wanna pop this on the inner corners. This is in number 10. I'm gonna curl my lashes and then move on to mascara. For my mascara, I'm gonna go in with my Giorgio Armani mascara and apply 
several layers. I'm gonna stop here with the eyes. I feel like this is exactly what I was going for, a peachy, fresh, summery look. Moving on to my lips, I'm gonna go in with my Victoria Beckham Lip Liner in 02. It's the Lip Definer. And I'm just gonna line my lips with this. This is such a beautiful color, wow. I'm gonna apply a little bit of this Artist Couture Lip Gloss just on the center, and this is in La Freak. I'm gonna finish with a little more highlighter, so I'm gonna use this Hourglass palette, and I'm just gonna use the middle shade, and using the highlighter side, I'm just gonna pop this on the high points of my cheeks, and a little bit on the center of my face. I'm also gonna apply this on my brow bone. So that is it for this tutorial. I hope you guys enjoyed it. I also hope you guys are excited about the power brush. We do have free shipping available today only for US customers. And the code for that is power brush. So if you're watching this, you can use that code. And if you're on our email, you also got that code. So I'll also have that in the description box in case you miss it. If you are international, we do also have international free shipping options available. You can check out our site. But other than that, I love you guys so, so much. Thank you for watching. and. I will see you next time. Again, please let me know what you want to see because this look was definitely requested by some of you guys in my last comment section. So be sure to leave some looks and like, you know, anything that can help me come up with fun ideas to film. I love you guys and I'll see you next time. Bye.